out in public at this point in the season, we're talking about mask usage, right? A lot of people carrying them wherever they go right now. No one in the near vicinity at the moment, so I don't have mine on for this particular report. But we wanted to know, as the heat builds, are there any health risks or are certain masks better than others as we enter some of the hottest times of the year? So we tried to gather some answers for you from Newton Wellesley Hospital, the doctors at Tufts Medical Center. There have been studies done to look at the health risk of wearing the big, heavy N95 mask like we were supposed to be wearing at work. They found uh, no increase in carbon monoxide in the human body. There's uh, only significant finding that they've ever had in multiple studies is the big, heavy ones are uncomfortable. Most of these things are, are discomfort issues. In people who are healthy, um, there, there shouldn't be any significant health risks. The warning signs you should look for would be the same as any other time. If you're feeling overheated, if you feel that your heart is starting to race, you're having difficulty breathing, that may be the time to stop. Slow down what you're doing, get some rest, drink some water or other fluids, and just make sure that you're okay. Things that are breathable, things like cotton, um, you know, uh, um, the N95 masks, while offering superior protection from the virus, um, are often unnecessary and make it much harder to breathe and uh, would be much hotter on a, obviously a day with um, uh, that's 90 degrees. The cloth masks, the, the paper surgical masks will be more comfortable and easier to breathe. Um, uh, and um, um, some people even a bandana. Some good advice right there. You know, we're all just trying to do the right thing and get through all of this, make sure we're safe. And, and now starting to think about it a little bit more, guys, as it's going to be pretty hot for the foreseeable future here.